Hey everyone, today I'll be showing you how to use the forum's video input option to stylize your videos. So rather than using image to image, you can use the forum in some scenarios where the frames are not consistent and you, you feel that uh, you just want to stylize the whole video and uh, try out different uh, variations of it, right? First, I'll be showing you the final output I got. This uh, this is something I generated quickly using uh, the forum video input uh, in 15 minutes, right? So here is the output. You can see that uh, the we, like the output is a bit stylized. It's not too different, but you can ob obviously mess around with the settings and change and see what uh, works best for you. So I'll be uh, just uh, showing you a quick dom demo of uh, how to put it together, how, how to use it, right? So if you have a uh, stable Diffusion Web UI installed, you just have to go to the Deforum tab. I'll be giving you the links for all this in the description down below so you don't have to worry, right? So you can choose any input model you want. Uh, I personally prefer using InPunk. You can, you can use any model. Uh, I just wanted to uh, use InPunk. Right, uh, you can ch uh, change your uh, the width and height according to the video. So first, let's uh, take a look at the video. So this is uh, a the forum uh, folder I created, and let's see the video. So here is the video. You can and uh, you can just uh, see the properties and see the size. Uh, 2018, uh, 19. 20. So you don't have to exactly uh, uh, put that, right? You know, if you increase the size, it, it will take a bit of time to uh, recreate it. So rather, I, I go with uh, five. So five to well, I go with eight ninety six and five to well. Okay. So for Inkpunk, uh, the sampler best works according to my testing is DDIM. You can just increase the steps a bit. Right, and uh, what else do we have? So in keyframes, we want to use a video input, right? So we just go with video input. Then you don't have to change the maximum number of frames or replicate anything else. And in in this seed settings, you just have to make sure you change it to fixed. So that way uh, you get uh, a consistent frame of images and like you get consistent outputs. So if you go with an iterate, uh, iteration, it will give different different uh, outputs based on different different images, right? And then uh, you don't have to change many settings. You can uh, change the CFG scale if you want. Uh, you can choose, if you want a light stylization, keep the CFG scale as uh, low as possible, but you want to test, uh, test around with it, you, can, you want to mess around with it, go with 24, 14, I just, uh, I suggest we can go with 14 right now. Uh, other than that, you don't have to change anything else. Uh, you just, uh, now you have to change the prompts. So with the prompts also, uh, you can just uh, add a single prompt and uh, it will work for the whole video. So for Inkpunk, the, the main uh, key, uh, key point is, uh, the main prompt is Living Punk, right? Uh, you want to emphasize on that, so I'm keeping it in double brackets. I want it to be 8K. I want the character to have glowing eyes. And in the negative tab, you can uh, you can say you don't want it to be unclear. You don't want it to be blurry. You don't want it to be vague. You can you can mess around and see what works best for you, right? In the initialization video. So this is where uh, you just have to mess around a lot. You have to uh, check the settings. I personally prefer using somewhere around 0 0.6 if I want a light stylization. But if I want a completely different out, uh, output, I go for 0 0.4. But let's go with 0 0.6 right now. Okay. And here we have to put uh, in our video input path. So here is our video input. Uh, let's say. Copy this and just see the video input name is ukee.mp4, right? 
you can extract every second frame uh, and uh, like you if you don't if you want the video to match the input video speed uh, i suggest in the video output uh, keep it as an uh, mp4 or keep the fps as uh, 50 so this should probably work with uh, all, all sort of videos you can now just uh, click on generate i it will start working you just have to go to the the forum tab right and these are like all my previous outputs let me just delete them just give it a minute now let's just generate it again so it will just give a bunch of input frames it will divide the video into bunch of input frames it will extract every second frame right then it will you can see it is extracting uh, the video with fps 30 seconds and then it will start uh, stylizing the every frame i think i'm uh, messed with uh, the output size so you can see it's it's coming out uh, incorrectly you just have you can just interrupt it and see uh, i think uh, the run size yeah how to it has to be the other way sorry yeah now it should work just uh, they did all the outputs no and just click on generate as you can see we are getting some outputs So when you feel like the output is uh, not consistent with the input frames, you can obviously mess around with the settings, but this is just uh, basically it. Like, you know, you can obviously mess around with the set settings. I suggest uh, you to lower the CFG scale, maybe mess around with the strength tab. The higher it is, the closer it is to the original image, and the lower it is, uh, you get more random outputs, right? So. Uh, that's it now if you have any more queries do comment down below uh, how i hope you like it and uh, if there are any you know if i have mentioned anything wrong do let me know thank you and have a great day